Hello, hello everyone. How's everybody doing today? It's me, Angie. Coming on to continue working on this beautiful journal here, the Shabby Chic Vintage Journal. I'm gonna move that out of the way for a moment and bring in this doily, show you this doily that I have here. Um, this is almost the size that we need. It hangs over probably maybe a half inch on each side. And I think if I remember correctly, about an inch on, on the um, ends. So I thought I would just use this and I'm just gonna glue it directly down and then I'm gonna top it with that other piece of lace and I will show you that in a moment. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into this. Let's get this positioned. And um, let's see. I'll make sure I got about the same amount of distance on each side as much as I can. And I think that's pretty darn close, so we'll just go there. And I can take this off. And let's see, yeah, so that's pretty good right there. Okay, and I'm gonna use my glossy accents, since it does so well for everything. It is my go-to for just about everything. And I want that to lay down right up at the edge. So I'm gonna, and I don't have a real steady hand here, so I'm gonna have to, there we go. Get enough spread off through the cover, and we'll do half, and then we'll flip it over and do the other half. Make sure that's down before we flip it over and do the other side. So how is everyone today? I hope everyone's doing well. Excuse me, just getting a little drink of my soda here. <sighs> I hope everybody's liking my journal process. I've been really having fun with it. I've been enjoying it. Almost, almost done. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on its side. And we're gonna try and get the spine glued down. Lay that just nice and smooth. I don't want to pull it. I just want it to naturally lay down on its own. Okay. I'll give it another give it another 30 seconds. And then we'll flip it over and do the other side. And then I thought I would lay this over the top. And we're just gonna go overlap this just like that with this one. I thought that would look nice. I don't know, that's my thought. Okay, I think that's good. And we can come over to here. See it's already grasping there. And get this side. Make sure we get that glue right up next to the edges. Okay. 
we go. Okay, and then I thought we would do this here, and that's almost the height of the book itself also. So that works out really well. My end isn't quite cut straight, so I'm gonna trim that up just a little bit. It's just off the hair. I'm gonna try and even that up some if I can. All right, it's setting. Just took off a little bit. See if we can get it as straight as we can. I kind of messed it up, didn't I? Okay, let me do it this way. I'm going to fold it in half like this and then cut it. Maybe I'll get it a little straighter that way. Okay, that looks a little better. Okay. Oops. Go down to the end of my spool here too. I'll keep that, who knows what I can find for use for that. Table desk, desk lamp on, see if that adds a little. Hope we don't get too much of a shadow. Hope you guys can see okay. We've got our rainstorm coming in here, so it's all cloudy. The sun went behind the clouds and it's all cloudy right now. Okay, let's try that. And then I'm just gonna throw on a bead of glue right along the edge there. Started and then um, right there. Let's see how that's going to work. It's not going to take, might not adhere well. I don't even mind if the lace kind of flips, just so long as this middle piece gets glued down really well. That's my main concern. See, that's not working too well, is it? I think it will if I give it time to dry, but... I wonder if I put it directly on this and then glue it down. Let me try that. that works. Oh, 
Now, see, the only thing with that is I don't like that glue seeping through the, which on the top, it won't make a big deal because I'm going to have an image we're going to decorate. But as far as the back goes, I might have to come up with something else. Maybe super glue it or um, not super glue, hot glue it right along the edge because it won't show um, at the seam. And don't glue it down the middle. That might be what I'm going to have to do. Well, let me see if this is the top or the bottom. That's the back. See? Darn it. I don't like that. I'm going to lift this up before it adheres. And I'm going to flip it over. Because I'm going to cover the front. So the front is okay. I'm going to grab my glue gun. We're going to attempt this hot glue again today. It'll only take a second to get hot. 60 seconds or so, and it's ready to go. Okay. I'll move this out of the way for the moment. Clear me some space. Put the lid on my glossy accents before it clogs up. Can we? All these bits out of the way. And I got my clamps ready. I'll put one on each side. Okay, we're ready. Get this positioned. Right there. Okay. Just about ready. I think I'm going to just throw my little glue there and a little bit of glue there just to get it to tack it down. That works. Okay. Then we can. I'll just use this as my guideline and run a bit of glue all the way down, just like that, and like that. Ooh, hot. Definitely hot. Okay. Get a little glue off my fingers before we go any further. Okay. Pull this back. Lay it up on its side for a moment. Oh, my glue is seeping out, so I need a piece of paper. Let me take care of that first. I don't want to mess up my mess up my mat there we go okay and now i'm ready now we'll go across the across the spine get that down Flip it over. Well, not yet. Let's see. I think I'll just do it just like this. A little bit at a time. Just do a little bit at a time. Lay that down. Come 
more on this way now. Okay, how much do we have left? Right there. Go about halfway, just a little bit at a time. Take it nice and slow. I don't mind working with hot glue guns and hot glue, but the strings, I don't know. Strings just get on my nerves. I don't know how you guys feel about that. It's like, I'll spend more time just looking a piece over just to make sure there's no little strings and strands. Okay, on the down part here. Right. Okay. And we'll go up and over. And down. Okay. Flip that over. And then we'll just have to cut that off. Good. Okay, let me unplug my hot glue gun because it will continue to run glue everywhere as long as I leave it on. Okay, as soon as that cools completely, I still feel a little warm. We'll cut that excess off. I'll move this out of the way so I don't burn myself. So it can cool off over here in the corner. Let me get that up. Okay, done. Straight cut here. Okay. Got a little bit left. How about that? I don't know if I want to leave that edge raw like that or if I want to do something with that. So that's what I'm trying to think of now. Um, let's see. Okay. Very nice. I like that. Now we need to cover this part. And for that, I have this image here. This pretty digital of this vintage lady here. And I just back, uh, put it on top of a piece of white lace doily and i thought that would look really nice kind of white pink white pink kind of just layers and complements each other like that so i thought i would put that there yeah i like that okay we'll use wet glue for this or actually we could use yeah we'll use wet glue for this dry glue on the tip here and just prime that off. And probably a shadow around it and I can't see too well. Okay, that looks like that should be enough once we get that spread out. Okay. And you may not 
not be able to see, but let me just get this down and then I'll position it for you guys. Okay, just touch up where we need to. Can see any little bit here? And then a little underneath here. Okay. Leave a little bit right there. A little too much. Just wipe that away. Okay. Now we got it right there. Put that piece down. Make my fingers might be a little easier doing it that way. Under here, on that edge, yeah, very good. Okay, very nice. I think we're good there. And then I was gonna do an eyelet, um, punch an eyelet right in there, and I'd have to go through the cover, but that should take. And I thought I would strand this on there what do you think so i have cut this piece i figured i'd cut this in half that should be plenty so I'll cut this in half and we got eyelet i got those right here make the 3 16 eyelets i think i'll just do um just do white huh so i need two of those Get up and grab my big bite. Excuse me for one second. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the big bite. And we're going to punch the hole first. So we're going to put it in 3 sixteenths. Okay. Then I just need to measure where I want my hole at. Let's see what the center point is on this cover. It's nine and a quarter, so that's four and four and a half, so four and three fourths. So I'm gonna measure right there. That's my halfway point. Make sure I have it uh, enough room. We'll come out in just a little right there okay and then I need to mark the other side as well let me see that was right in line okay Okay, make sure I got it centered. Right there. Okay. And 
come in about a half an inch. I think that's pretty good. Okay. We're ready to do our holes. Let's see how this is going to work here. I'm going to have to pull it off of my desk. So we can come in this direction. I'll remove the Three. Ooh, that's not going to be too easy here. Let's see. Okay, I got it in position now. I'm going to stand up and give it a good squeeze. Okay. Through. See, there we go. There's the first hole. So I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. Do the other side. And we'll get the eyelet set. I'm going to do an angle here. That's it. And punch. Okay. So I got the other hole in. Now we're just going to get the eyelet in there and get that set in place. It's a pretty thick cover. Eyelets barely reach, reach through there. Okay, so now we push this to the other end. Make sure I got it on the right setting. Okay. Like that's it. And I gotta stand up again for this guy. And give it a good hard squeeze. And we're in there. Fantastic. Okay, let me do the other side. And let you guys see. Very good. Okay. There, give it a squeeze. Oh, get that crunch. It's in there. Okay. Well, we got it. And there we go. Large eyelid on the front and another eyelet on the back. Okay, so then we will just feed our ribbon through. And to poke it through there. Okay, just poked it through, and we do a quick fasten here. Pull that snug, but not too tight. I like that. Yes, look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving this. Very nice. Oopsie, I see a little spot that needs glue right here. Let me get that while I'm, while I got my eye on it. Another piece right here. All right, let's do the other side. And poke it through.
inventory out. Oh yes, I like that. And that will just tie like so. Oh my goodness, look at that guys, isn't that pretty? Now I just wanna think about what else I wanna put on the cover, probably some pearls, maybe some flat back pearls or something. Um, but we'll stop there, we'll do one more video. Um, finalizing, I'll see, think about what else I want to put on that cover, and then we'll do a final flip through and fill it up with all, fill it back up with all our tags and tucks and uh, ephemera pieces, and we're going to be done with this baby. Look at that! Isn't she gorgeous? I hope you guys like her. Oh my, I, I'm in love. I might not even need to put anything on the spine. That looks so nice. Okay, well we're going to call that a wrap for today, guys. Thank you so very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one. All right, bye-bye.